Hi, I'm Sean Smith. Today we're on a 2020 Lagoon 77. This is a new listing here in San Diego at South Coast Yachts. Join me for a quick walkthrough and tour of the boat. This Lagoon 77 was painted dark gray all grip here in San Diego. Beautiful paint job that looks incredible with the teak decks. We'll board here on the starboard side where there's a custom step that you can put on either hull. Stepping aboard, there's a stainless steel grab rail, which is a custom addition to make it comfortable boarding the boat. Shore power cord comes in right here. There is a freshwater shower and a swim ladder. So if you're boarding from the water out of the salt water, you can take a fresh water shower. Custom uh, built-in barbecue. The covers for the electrical capstans and just incredible teak decks. We'll start here in the aft cockpit, pan across, lounge area, great dining table, sliding doors into the salon, port side lounging area. great seating and storage. There is a galley aft. So on the starboard side, you have a sink, some storage, refrigeration, and on port, a grill. Port side aft, another handrail, and then the passerelle which comes out here and angles up and down. If you're in the med, med moored, that's gonna be very, very nice. Hydraulic swim platform here with a czar dinghy currently on top. This is a really brilliant path right here. I love how you can just simply walk through from side to side, regardless of the height of the swim platform. Beautiful lighting. There's lots of LED lighting overhead and indirect throughout the boat. Let's move into the main salon. The main salon here has the design of the Lagoon 78. So the power cat version where you have a tremendous amount of storage here on the port side. Glassware, it's incredible all throughout wine storage moving forward to a wine refrigerator there. This is really nice to have the storage, also have the big dining table, and then also have salon seating here. This is, uh, I think, a very, very smart way to go. Going up forward, there is a TV that drops forward. I'll press the button while we're taking a look forward. This is really nicely done and recessed. So coming down out of the ceiling, there's a nice large TV that we can angle either side if you want to have it angled over for this dining area or towards the salon seating. Very, very nice. You can also adjust the height. Really brilliant design. If you're watching a game or a movie, really, really brilliant to have that TV drop down and swivel. Just forward of it is a bar area where there are wine glasses with magnets. Really nice modification. And then this is a sink. This is brilliant. Really great for entertaining. Just forward of this table.
Forward is the interior nav station where you have throttle controls, autopilot, twin BNG chart plotters, custom Lagoon 77 logo there. There's a really nice seating area forward and large door going up to your forward cockpit. Let's walk up forward. Incredible access forward. Good seating. The boat was ordered with the sun awning. So there is an awning that covers this forward area and goes into uh, poles on both sides. We've got nice lounge areas up here. The three hydraulic furlers, Facnor hydraulic furlers here. Underneath is an ultra anchor, stainless steel ultra anchor. The boat also has a fortress secondary anchor. Up in the four peak here, on the starboard hull is one of the two crew cabin areas. There are bunk beds up here, as well as a head uh, with the toilet and shower. We've got fun seats in the bow pulpits. And walking across in the port four peak, there is a washer dryer all the way forward, as well as a workshop aft really nice countertop and tons of storage really elegant beautiful boat there are stand-up paddleboard or kayak racks on both sides just beautiful lines we'll head back in and check out the state rooms Forward on the starboard hull is the master stateroom. This is incredible. Big centerline berth here that just walk, walk around island berth. And a really nice walk-in closet. It's quite impressive. Tons of cabinetry, storage shelves. And these doors come together to make this a nice dressing room with two mirrors. You have a pop-up TV. Very nice. Vanity desk here. Great lounging area. And your ensuite head here with an enormous shower. Shower with a view. You've got the electric flush toilet, twin sinks, and a ton of storage here and mirrors in this master cabin head. Very impressive owner's cabin. Aft of the owner's cabin is a VIP guest cabin with its private entrance here. I love the privacy allowed here. You know, each coming down into the three guest cabins, they all have their own entrance. walk around berth and private ensuite head with its own separate shower here. Beautiful sink storage. Air conditioning is on throughout the boat. Feels good and some yachts, the air conditioning units feel really loud, but I'm happy that they're pretty quiet um, in those guest cabins. This door you can keep closed if you want a private entrance into the 
port side forward guest cabin where another large berth, another pop-up TV, private ensuite head here. Very spacious. Storage, robes included. If you want to keep the Sea Wings name, there are monogrammed bedding and um, as well as the uh, robes. And then inside the door here, this is either a guest or crew cabin. There's Sea Wings. 77. Guest or crew cabin here, another head, which is also um, a shower room here. There's a curtain that goes around. This leads into the aft galley. The galley down and aft is enormous here. It's a chef's galley. Uh, you can have um, guests or a uh, full-time crew and chef down here will be very comfortable. There's a TV, dining area, and a chart plotter for navigation. Dual stainless sink, dishwasher, four burner stove top and oven, full-size refrigerator and freezer, ice, water, and also a coffee machine. This works out really nice for uh, entertaining. If you're entertaining at this table, the galley is very close. The flybridge staircase is also here, so it's an easy path to the top if you're entertaining up on the flybridge. Really great layout and design. Under the floor here, you have quite a bit of storage in the cockpit as well as underneath the salon floor. Now we'll go and take a look up this spiral staircase to the flybridge. I absolutely love this design up here. Lots of space for entertaining, beautiful teak wood, the twin helm stations, Start here on the port side, composite steering wheels, large BNG chart plotter, H5000 BNG display as well, showing your true wind over the apparent. Right now we have 12 knots of true wind at the dock. Autopilot control, and then there is a throttle control and bow thruster control. The sheets for your three uh, forward head sails and code zero come clean right here to these electric winches. Really elegantly designed, it's efficient. We can put all of our covers in here, line bags for all the sheets. Simple to operate here uh, from the helm station. Your starboard helm is more of your primary helm station. This is where our uh, chain counter for electric windlass is located, as well as lighting, uh, VHF radio control, throttle and bow thruster control. Right now we have the camera on, BNG chart plotter. There's also a USB if you want to charge cell phones or devices up here at the helm, you can do so. Large helm seats can fit two people at each helm seat. And then you also have this large convertible table here. So this flips up if you want it to be in a smaller dining configuration. Otherwise you can put all the chairs out and entertain quite a few people up here on the flybridge. This boat was ordered custom with these lounges on either side. The Lagoon Factory offers a similar configuration with the jacuzzi in the middle but it was opted for here to have the lounges and then this coffee table 
furniture which you can remove and just have a lot more entertaining space. It creates really good flow to the area up here and tons of seating rather than have this be just all open area. I really love these comfortable lounges on both sides and the open area in between. Aft is the traveler for the mainsail. Really, really nice and tall system. And on both sides of the boat, there are life rafts mounted up here, custom edition. Forward on the flybridge in the center is a ice maker as well as a refrigerator. And a sink up top. Great addition for entertaining up here. Let's take a look at the rigging. This boat has really bulletproof rigging. Really big canoe boom up here for that mainsail. This Doyle cover was just replaced. So it's a very new umbrella cover over the top. And tall halyard locks. I'm standing on non-skid up here. It's really comfortable to move around. There's also a ladder that you can go on top of the uh, hard top with. This hard top has indirect LED lighting. And I really like these windows. No matter where you are, you can always look up and see your sails. You're getting protected from the sun, but also have the visibility to the sails when you're underway. Thank you for joining me on this walkthrough tour of the 2020 Lagoon 77 Sea Wings. For more information about this boat and to board it yourself, contact me right away. I look forward to talking to you soon.